Hi, I'm Mike Burton from Pavia. Today I'm just going to run through starting a Honda water pump, just in case you're a little foggy on it or you haven't done it before. Here's the basic operation to start and shut off the motor. So first of all, down here we have a pump. As you can see, uh, you have to have your snorkel hose down into the lake, somewhere water below you. Uh, this is where the water goes into the pump. The pump has a big impeller here that turns. And this is where the fire hose water would come out. And if you have your fire hose handy, this is where it goes on. You just clamp that to lock it on the hose. I'm not going to do that today because we're just demonstrating. Uh, one of the things you have to do at first of the season is to make sure you've primed the pump with water in here. So you should, it's probably empty from the last winter. So pour water in until you see water coming out here or going down the, the main pipe. And then close the cap on the top. Now your chamber is full of water and it will work well for you then because you have a piece of water back in. Down here on the this side is uh, down here just for fun. This is the oil pan down here. So that once a year you should check the oil in your engine, probably at the beginning of the year, make sure that you have oil there. Uh, you can change the oil and do air filter changes and so on as well. Maybe you want to get the people at the marina to do that for you, or you can do it yourself. Here we have a start switch. This turns on the electrical circuit to the spark plug. Around on the side here, we have a throttle, like so. I've labeled these things just to make them easier for people to remember. You have a fuel gauge and a choke. So to start the motor, the first thing you need to do is to make sure the throttle is about a third of the way over. Turn on the fuel. If it's cold, the choke needs to be here to this side. Uh, and you have to turn on the switch. A lot of people struggle and struggle because they forgot to turn the switch on. So make sure that's on and then you're ready to go. Let's just start the motor for a minute. I'm going to run it for a second and then I'll turn it off with the switch and then talk about a few more things. So let's see if it'll start for us. I was able to control the water speed by turning the throttle up. So you can do that when you're running the hose. As you saw, I turned it off with this switch. So it's pretty simple. Uh, what else to say? Um, the gas is, this is the gas thing. Make sure you have gas in your pump. It's supposed to use premium gas or something with an octane of higher than 86 or 86 or higher. So, you know, premium gas is probably the best choice. Um, as far as closing at the end of the year is concerned, you need to drain this guy, the valve down here at the bottom. Make sure there's no water in here or it will freeze in the winter and crack this housing. So that's important to do um, at the end of the year. If you have gas in here still, you should probably put stabilizer in or something like that. Uh, some people just drain them. It's up to you what you want to do. And then you're good for the, for the winter. I guess that's the basics. Um, so that's that's it for today. I'm sure there's more things you should have in your manual. You should probably read it. And people on the island should probably practice. Maybe every two weeks or something, make it into a game. See who can start it the quickest. That's all.